people welcome back to another episode of our love date and relationship trust me to bring to you guys interesting human angle stories for us to dissect and talk about is your favorite girl b come along with me how are you today i am sending this because i know you won't judge me for it but i need to know i'm doing the right thing so around february 2023 my husband has an accident which he survived but after he developed an illness that kept him in the hospital for two months those two months i was sleeping in the hospital every day and my sister was home with the kids then I had to go to work as well. He was moved back home and he spent another five months bedridden. I've taken care of him without complaints while I still work in all of this. Deep inside, I'm tired. I made a very costly mistake at work last week that my boss had to tell me to take a break because they know I don't make such mistakes. And I told them what was happening in my home. The thing is I want to go away somewhere for the weekend and sleep all through for just two days. But I feel so bad about this. No one knows I'm tired. Even my mother-in-law and sisters-in-law keep sending me prayers every morning, thanking me for being strong and supportive. My children are 12 and 16 and they try too. I close early from work to take over from the nurse, which insurance is paying for, but they can't cover her full time, so she does 9 to 2, so I have to be back home by 2.30 latest. All this to say I'm so tired. My sister-in-laws are great, but they've never asked to help me. So I want to ask them to take over for the weekend, I just want to sleep and I know that if I sleep in the house, I won't be able to look away or stay away. Please, is this okay, even if it's okay to take a train to France or just somewhere quiet around here in the UK? I just need encouragement, please. So therefore, sir, I'm just here to tell you that it's okay to take a break. It's okay to feel exhausted. It's okay to be tired. There's nobody in your situation that wouldn't feel the same way. But what's okay not to do is for you to ignore the way you're feeling. It's for you to, to keep doing what you're doing until you are now burnt out. That's not what's okay. You also matter, your mental health matters, your physical and emotional health also matters. You're already making mistakes at work. You need to be rejuvenated, you need to take a break, you need to take a rest so that you can be rejuvenated and still function at your best self. What am I trying to say? Don't feel guilty or feel bad. You've been at this for seven months already while still going to work. Come on, you're a super lady, like you're super human, okay? So no one is going to fault you for just trying to take off two days. What I'm going to tell you to do is talk to your mother-in-law and your sister-in-law. Tell them that, okay, look, 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 you're already feeling this kind of way. You just need two days. They should just come stay around, stay with their brother. You need two days off just for you to rest. You're making mistakes at work already, which is not healthy. And you're not getting, I'm sure you're not even getting enough sleep. It's going to make you feel irritated. So please and please talk to them if they are really, really sensible and understandable. It's not about sending you prayer link every morning. Of course, you're praying and... You're taking care of your brother but you also need to rest even in the bible on the seventh day god did what he rested so you too you need to take a break get a rest so if they are sending you prayer links tell them that you also need to just go off somewhere retreat we re, um retreat take a rest and come back rejuvenated if not you're going to be burnt out and that's even worse imagine when you can't even function at your best self that means you can't go to work you can't even take care of the husband that you're trying to take care of right now then that's when they're also going to come and start asking you oh why didn't you tell us oh we thought we're family oh you didn't reach out to us so reach out to them now two days is not much for your mental health dear poster please take a break that you really need so that you can be on your best 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 performance and also don't forget about your children let them know what's going on and then you know talk to family and friends if need be but please take that needed rest and i hope you really don't feel bad doing so it doesn't mean that you're not a supportive wife it doesn't mean you're a bad wife it doesn't mean even if you tell your husband i'm sure he's going to agree because you've been at the side for this whole seven months so i'm sure he's even going to be like baby girl you need this rest just take two days off and come back feeling better. I hope this makes you make the right decision and I hope this advice meets you well. We're sending you all the love, all the care, all the strength you need. You are an amazing wife, you're a superhuman. We really, really celebrate you and your doggedness at you know, keeping your family together and nursing your husband back to health. We really hope that in no distant time, he feels better and he's back on his two feet again. All right, with that, guys, we've come to the end of today's episode on our love, date, and relationship. Let me know what you think in the comment section. You can leave an advice for her in the comment section. And trust me, she's going to read it and she's going to feel happy hearing words of encouragement and 
bring positive energy from you her way. With that, guys, please don't also forget to follow us on our social media handles. On Instagram, we'll go by e.com underscore official. For Facebook and YouTube, we'll go by e.com official. And for Twitter, we'll go by edotcom01. All in workers alphabet, no space in between. I remain your favorite girl. Be bye, guys. <laughs>